saying something like, I was using alcohol as a coping mechanism. And now I use going outside. I use um, building machines. I use cleaning the refrigerator. I'm like, okay, so we have some alternate coping mechanisms for Shannon's life other than alcohol. I don't know if taking a walk is exactly equivalent taking a sip of vodka, but let's go with that, Shannon. <laughs> yeah, and she says that she and John, you know, had broken up, seen other people, and then before her DUI arrest had gotten back together for a couple of months, and she, they both kind of knew it wasn't going to work, but they were sort of in this pretend way and toxic you know, attachment to each other. And they'd say, oh, we're going to have a future together. But they both really weren't serious about it is her side. She starts drinking a lot, leaves his house, gets the DUI. And that, you know, I mean, she, that's kind of the update. If you talk to people, like if you talk to Vicky in the real world, which God help me is one of the most annoying things in the world. But if you talk to people in the real world, they say Shannon is all about the show. I do believe she is like a Jennifer Aiden that would like cut off her arm to stay on the show. None of this is fake, but I mean, this is Shannon's season. Like you have to give her something that like you're there. Oh no, Jesus Jugs is in the house. Let's go have the conversation. Like she is facing the DUI head on, filming with your, this woman whose husband sued you, who now has your ex-boyfriend that you said was your kryptonite. Like I give, most people have come out. They're very pro Shannon now. Even people that didn't like her before. I think it's like 10% is in favor of Jesus Jugs. But like, I mean, you have to admit Shannon's like, okay, like here I am. Punch me again. Like, so that is a good housewife. You're facing it, yeah. right? Oh, I, I was going to say the same thing. Like how good i have to give shannon a ton of credit and you and i have absolutely and i think rightfully so you know sort of said like did she really take this dui that seriously and the, you know you're kind of too mature in your life to be getting a fucking dui where you're getting out yes. of the car pretending to fake walk your dog after you've run into someone's house and you thought at one in the morning that people would buy that i mean this is like a little embarrassing for your stage you know uh we were rough on her but i've got to say I have to give her a, a boat ton of credit that, man, she's done press for this season. She's shown up on this season. And I mean, according to everybody, John was like the love of her life. And she is like, let them in front of her play it out. And then I don't know if they're how serious they are. They claim they're very serious. I got to give her a ton of credit that a lot of people could not rise to that occasion be on tour with Vicky be doing your community service to wrap up your DUI. I think it's pretty yeah. good. I'm, I'm, this is what we want from a house. Like this is the job. Sorry that you got a DUI. No one told you to. I'm sorry your ex-boyfriend is dating this woman who's also in the same friend group. It's not, I didn't wish that upon you. Face it. And a lot of people wouldn't. And she, she's facing it on air. Raquel Levis, Rachel Levis. Ooh. I know. Rachel Levis Sue, so it's a different story. But I'm, I'm, I am, I am loving it. And you know, I did have to do an analysis. Do I love it because this is the plan and we have nothing else to choose from except Dubai? Which, by the way, Dubai now two hundred thousand people watch. I don't know if I've Even let you in on this. Two 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 hundred and twenty-seven. Right. I had higher last ratings number. last month. That can't be. It said two twenty-seven. And so, I mean, it, that, and we hate toxic New Jersey. Also, my problem with New Jersey is I can't watch, like, we didn't know Vanderpump was going on a pause. Now, it ended in the final scene was showing Sheena when she was two years old and Lala when she was a baby and James the scene. So at the end of Vanderpump, when we saw this, we're like, God, that felt like a series finale. What the hell's going on? That's a lot different than knowing like episode, you know, yeah, we're episode 10, but still knowing that like New Jersey is going on a pause. So for me, it's a lame duck. Like I don't need to watch what happens between each person because what does it matter? It's going away for like months and months and months and months and months. And then we have to film. Does anyone remember what happened in the last season of Real Housewives of Atlanta? So to me, it's like a lame duck. So that's even more of a reason why I don't want to watch New Jersey. So it is, was the OC so good? Because we have nothing. But I think if I take 
out of that. It just was good. I don't think we need to analyze it, right? It was just good. Hmm. Wow. See how positive I can be. What did you also make? Because a lot of people were talking about this. They they were either really on her side and sympathetic, and a lot of people came out of the woodwork to connect to her story. But, you know, Tamara gave an update on Sydney, her daughter. And, you know, that's the daughter she's been estranged from for since, like, 2013, over a decade now. I mean, she's a grown woman. She's, like, graduated from, from college. She apparently works in Hollywood in television. And she is the daughter that Tamara had with Simon. Tamara has two other children with Simon. A boy Those and two a girl. Kids. See Tamara live with Tamara, but Sydney chose her dad and has really never been back. They sort of began to reconcile at Sydney's high school. I think it was high school or college graduation. I think. I, yeah, one of those. Tamara posted a public picture. That was it. But basically, she's long story short, she's in contact with her siblings, but she really still wants nothing to do with Tamara. And Tamara uses, you know, 111 every time she sees it to say a prayer, you know, that Sydney will come back. I mean, did you think that was a more real moment for Tamara? Um, yeah. Did that make you soften for the rat and the Gouda in the corner or not really? Well, the rat does scurry. Please let's not. And on the Patreon, I'm doing this slow a breakdown of scenes and I've discussed with the Patreons. I probably shouldn't call her the rat because just like when I say like Teresa's an animal, I still give Teresa, like I can step out of my feelings and give you props when you, you're you good for that episode. Uh, but here is not Patreon. It's not the recap. And she is a rat and she does scurry and she does want Gouda. And her tail goes, having said that, um, I felt that was a real moment. I do. I felt that was a real moment look Tamara does well as a housewife it's yeah I mean look we've seen enough about you and Eddie and I mean uh, I don't find Eddie really that interesting to be honest with you so I mean this is something right I kind of like this kind of like this I like it I like it I feel you know when I I didn't realize how long it had been when I heard her say that I was like wow I mean that's heartbreaking you know she she Chose mm-hmm. side and side when she was like, what, I don't know, 13 or, you know, 14 and really has never been back. That's, that's like, man, that is so, I, I don't even know. Like that's a parent's worst nightmare. She I can't said even it's like having a child that died, except the child's alive. It, it, that's rough. I know, so unfortunately, too many people listening to this podcast have that situation. And I, it's breaks my heart because, um, you know. I'm fortunate enough to be very close with my parents and, or, or, you know, especially with my dad, obviously he passed away years ago, but it's just heartbreaking. So I thought that was a very vulnerable, real moment. I'm, I'm on the housewife's train. I got to tell you, I, I think it's good. Um, you know, uh, this week I'm back watching Welcome to Plathville with, uh, Mike, our friend, Micah Plath. I heard he's Ethan looking Plath. good. I heard he's looking good, Micah. Well, he's got a girlfriend that he's now living with. He moved from LA to Florida. Is she pretty? Is she pretty? She's a stunner. She's a realtor in Florida, blonde. So I guess he's not doing Andy Cohen. Two things. One, we have to talk about our live show. Ah, David, Speaking of God's Housewives. Like, but you and I are both back on the Housewife train. Next episode we'll promote at the beginning. We're both back on the house. 